Right guys, now I've been editing the video and I've got 16 gigabytes of memory but I did a lot of video at the weekend uh, for an event I chucked it all into the editor the video editing software froze and eventually kind of well, basically crashed I had to close it, force close it and I went to resources and the memory it's actually now using the 11 at the moment but basically when I was doing the editing that 16 gig was fully used so I'm doubling the RAM today to 32 gig just do the standard shutdown and get it all powered off that means once it's shut down you can unplug uh, any external monitors any external drives I'm going to wait for this blue light to go out there we go. I can so now that is ready. Uh, close the lid, unplug the power, turn this over, and then it's just a matter of undoing all the screws. Um, so you need a Phillips screwdriver for doing the screws, the smallest one. Uh, so I've got a, a choice here if, if I need. So taking out the screws, and then you need something like a little tin or a little a lid something where you can put the screws so you don't lose them what I sometimes do if I've got something big enough is I'll try and put them in order that they came in here and it does help to have a magne magnetic head because you can lift the screws out while you're here click the like and subscribe thanks This is a bit easier as it's been opened before. Once all the screws are out, it should just generally lift off. So that's that. Now the memory, the RAM is here. And the US SSD is there. Now I've got a 980, but I've ordered 980 Pro, slightly bigger and faster. So to get the memory out, first of all, you need to earth your hands. So if you can touch something like a radiator or you can wear a static strip but generally you're not really touching much. There's my new RAM. I can take one out from there. So this will be the one for here. Let's try that. Well they're both the same. They're both the same. What am I doing? So they do go upside down in here. But see that one's going in fine. That's it, you just push it down, it clips in. To get them out, there's little levers at the side here. You just pull them open, or push open, and it springs up. Just put that in. So that's the memory upgrade. I have got a new SSD NVMe which is uh, up to 7000 megabytes that one it's pretty fast it's one one terabyte and it comes with a uh, heatsink but I'm going to put that on later because I want to see that the RAM works okay so with that I'm going to be using my original drive once that's all working and uh, no problems I will then swap that the other thing you want to do, while we've got the laptop open, a good idea is to check your fan and if it needs cleaning out, get it out and you just use a little brush of any sort really with bristles that will get through that and then give it a blow and, it, and then there's also one the other side. So do the same with that. 
If you check my original video, it goes into changing the SSD and that you've got a cable that comes with that and all about the battery and everything else. So there is another video which I'll put down in the description. So if this video is any helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.